Welcome back, everyone. A woman whose brother was brutally murdered says the victim notification system in Kansas failed her. That's because she says she found out the man convicted of killing her brother was up for parole from a Google search. Investigator Melissa Yeager found out what happened. Shalene Eberhardt still remembers the call from Topeka police 22 years ago that changed her life. Immediately, I knew that something was wrong. Living in Florida, Shalene didn't know in Kansas, fishermen discovered a badly decomposed body in a river attached to an eight foot metal beam. It took weeks to figure out it was Charles Dale Duty, Shalene's brother. My brother was shot while he was sleeping. And, um, He was, they removed his teeth and they cut off his tattoos and they rolled him up in an old dirty carpet. Prosecutors charged Kenneth Cook with first degree murder. A jury convicted him and Cook received a sentence of 40 years in prison without parole. Shalene moved on with her life. Then last spring, she searched Cook's name online. And they were talking about how Kenneth Cook was up for parole. In the years that had passed, the Kansas Supreme Court decided Cook's sentence didn't fit the definition of heinous. Cook received a new sentence with the possibility of parole. Then he appealed, got a new trial, and was found guilty of second degree murder. Shalene was never notified. I feel like I can't even trust the justice system because of this. Shalene's address was not current in our system. Kansas Department of Corrections spokesman Jeremy Barclay told 41 Action News the DOC did notify other victims connected to the case, but not Shalene. In Kansas, victims register for case notification with the prosecutor's office and with the Department of Corrections. And although Shalene updated her address with the prosecutor's office, the change never reached the DOC. How was I supposed to know that there was another department? to update my address with. The prosecutor's office has no idea why no one let Shalene know she needed to update her information in two places. Barclay says only 25% of states have unified systems like Missouri's Movan system because of natural divides between state and local government. Last year, he says his department made more than 15,000 successful notifications. But at the same time, anybody who's dissatisfied, you know, uh, the victims, we, we would never want that, and so that's why it's important to us to remedy this. The DOC now has current information for Shalene, but she says she missed years of advocating for her brother. I'm afraid that if this is happening to me, that this is possibly happening to other families and other victims, and I feel that there needs to be a change. Melissa Yeager, 41 Action News. Shalene testified before the parole board today, but she's appealing for more help. In Kansas, anyone from the public can give their input to the parole board, so she's asking Kansans to urge the board to deny Cook's parole.